Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Airline Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. I am here today to demonstrate engine priorities and how to set them up. I have a couple of really cool engine here's, uh, engines here to show off and uh, I'm going to start get started with this beautiful design here. This is the Blue Line engine by Pivo12 and he said he was inspired by the Red Line and submitted it to us for you know inclusion into the Ireland engines platform. And honestly, it, it deserves a special mention because this thing is a, a glorious spaghetti monster of uh, piping and inline exhausts. It's a really, really good engine. And it's only a little bit longer than the red line, but it's over twice as efficient. Crazy good. But this is going to be my example for your first priority always on engine. That will be, you know, the your workhorse engine that's going to always be running and, you know, keeping your basic systems ticking over. The next one, we have our good old general purpose red line. Now this is the Mark III red line that was uh, submitted by Psycho Romeo, and he did a really good job of making, you know, a couple of tiny little Tetris improvements to it and just getting that little bit more of efficiency out of it. Great job by him. And this is our example of our general purpose engine that's gonna cover some of the, the other things in the middle of our power range. We also have a Hot Rod 8000, and this is Ruger's design, you know, his good old fuel injection sort of uh, gas guzzling monster. Very bad fuel efficiency. It, uh, it really sucks. It, it chews the fuel up like nothing normal. But this is our example of a low priority engine, the one that we want just in case, but can, you know, possibly save our ass. Now, I have three shield emitters set up here. The first one has 3000 power, or costs 3000 power, and this is to demonstrate just this engine turning on. Now the engine priorities you have to note are not a hard and fast sort of priority setting. You can't tell this one to turn on and then this one to turn on and then this one to turn on insofar as, you know, absolutely perfectly on off scenarios. But we'll show, I'll show you how I've got them set up and then I'll demonstrate how they work. This first one is set to a very low ramp up time because we want it to be getting to the demand first and snatching up as much of the demand as possible. The decay is similarly set, or it's actually set very low. And this doesn't mean fast decay, this means really slow decay. So this will take a long time to lower its demand after you know the demand itself lowers so this will be the last one the, the last engine to wind down after a power demand drop we've also got the responsiveness set to the default of one and this is important and it will be more apparent in the other engines why this is important so that's the configuration for this one this is going to be our priority engine the important thing is the responsiveness Next we have the red line here, and this is going to be our sort of general purpose midline engine. We have this set to a ramp up time of 1, which is the default, absolutely fine. Decay of 3, which is a lot, it's a little faster than the default, it's a lot faster than the blue line. And this means that it will let go of demand a lot faster than the blue line will. It means that it's sort of, uh, whenever demand is dropping, this becomes like the second priority. It drops its uh, demand as quickly as possible and allows the blue line to keep, you know, pick up the slack and keep everything ticking over. The responsiveness is also lower, and this means that it will start up slower than the blue line. Very important, because this engine's a little bit less efficient. Well, it's quite a bit less efficient in the, the long run. Um, but. This is just a demonstration, and this is how you get this guy to start up second. Now, we have our big, guzzling, low-priority engine on the end here. We get into the ramp-up time. We have this set to 1 as well. You can uh, raise this if you want, you know, nothing to stop you. Uh, it does slow, uh, slow down how fast the engine can respond to demands, though. So if you have peaks in power, if you want this as like a rescue backup engine, you know, it might not be a good idea setting this too high, but it, it does sort of uh, slow it down. It, it prevents it from taking over any of the load. In this example, I'm just going to leave it at 1, though. It's not a big deal. The decay, though, is set to 10, because this thing is a horrible fuel-eating monster, and I want it to stop burning as quickly as humanly possible. So whenever the, de the demand drops, we want it to drop as well. Decay, maximum. Responsiveness, we want really low. 
because we don't want this picking up any of the slack at all until it is absolutely necessary. So if we set our responsiveness to 0.1, that means that this guy is going to be very slow off the mark whenever power uh, demand comes in, and you know he'll uh, he won't really do much until we get into the big numbers. So let's demonstrate, shall we? I have a 3,000 power shield here, and we'll turn it on. It's 3,125. We'll pop this guy up. We will see that our maximum power is 3199. We'll get the UI on, see what we're using. We're using 2663. Like I say, not hard and fast. But this guy is using 231, which is low, much, much lower demand than this guy. And this guy is using 231 as well. So they have a much lower priority in, you know, what power draw that they're actually getting to put out. This guy is handling the vast majority of it. Great. So he's our workhorse. He's doing all the work. Let's turn this off. And we'll get this shield emitter on the go. Now this is a 6,000 power one. We'll let everything calm down because it does take a wee second for this. You see, he's still, still lowering his demand. It takes a long time. Now that does waste a little bit of fuel. But, you know, it's a very efficient engine, so it doesn't matter that much. Everything's cooled down. Let's turn this one back on. And we'll let it ramp up. And this one uses 6,000 power. So theoretically, this engine and this engine should be on. But this one should have very low demand. So we'll check this guy. We're using current usage, everything. All of the stuff. And you are 3172, which is almost everything. But he's not all the way full, which is great. Because that shows that the other engine is taking the vast, even more of the demand. Which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. And this guy is only using this much. Finally, we want to get this big guy in action. And if we turn this on, this thing uses about 10,000. Oh, okay, 14,000 power. Big, big pile of power. And we will see if we go to the first engine. You're using absolutely everything. That's great. That's exactly what we want. You are using 3148. That's absolutely everything. We get a little bit of power loss on this because it's heating up a little bit. And if we look at this guy, 7583, which is pretty much everything. Now, one thing to note as well, if I actually pull this down a little bit, we'll pull it down a little bit more. This guy should be the very, very first one to lose his demand. There we go, look. You're down to half demand now. And if we go to these guys, you're still more or less full, and you still are full, which is excellent. So that means that this guy is first priority, this guy is second priority, this guy is low priority. And it's really easy to set up. It doesn't have to be three. I mean, you can do this with two engines, obviously. You can use this guy and this settings, or you can use this setting and this setting, or you can use this setting and this setting. It, it just It's just an example to show how the, the sort of system works together. If you set your responsiveness, you know, across four different engines at 25 or 0.25 increments, you know, like your, your first responsiveness is at 0.25, your second is at 50, your third is at 75, the one at one will go first, then the 75, then the 50, then the 25. And as long as your decays um, sort of match this up, you know, you want a fast decay on the low priority engines and a, f a slow decay on the fast or the high priority engines, it should stay balanced out as, you know, while your vehicle is in operation. Because if those don't balance out, you can end up with one engine using, you know, too much of the priority. But anyway, I hope that was a sort of clear and concise way of explaining how these work. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this little video. Any likes, subs or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy and have a bloody good day.